Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits with you. So today, or tonight as it is, I've done a few beer reviews tonight. Been a long day. To be honest, you know, sometimes in life you've just had enough. And uh, I'm at that enough stage, you know, enough of pff, everything really. So, I've come down the beer room to do a review. So I'm reviewing this. Top Shelf Shamrock Whiskey. Shamrock being an Irish whiskey. They used to actually name it Irish whiskey, I'm sure they did. But obviously over the years they've had to change it. So here's what it looks like. Made from vodka and the essence. And I've got to say, it's more of a tasty. This was a full bottle, but over the space of a week it's, uh, it's gone down quite a bit. Why? Well, one is stressed. When one is stressed, he has a little bit more alcohol than he should. Oh, you really get that smell of the whiskey coming through. So yeah, yeah, it's been a it's been a week. A week of transition, uh, changing from one company to another. And that company coming down, and to be honest, today, it it felt like, both me and the other bloke I worked with, who we were there on the site, it was like, you know, you didn't matter, you were pieces of shit. And, uh, you know, uh, we want the ones who asked to be moved to a different company. Um, we had done our work throughout, and to be treated in with such disrespect, uh, was um, not nice. Uh, only one person was doing it. The other bloke, you could tell he was stressed because his boss was around. And uh, yeah, there was an arrogance, and uh, yeah, it's not needed. You know, if you're a decent worker that you've caused no issues, then treat them with respect, is, is what I say. So, interesting uh, week ahead. Uh, in so many flipping ways. Four minutes. Shit. I went down quick. So, as you can see, not a bad little uh, glass, shall we say. Um, golden colour whiskey pour. <sighs> Typical whiskey nose, to be honest. Nice fruity aroma on the nose. I can't pick the fruity aroma out. I've got to be honest. I've had a few bevies tonight. In fact, I've had a fair few bevies tonight. So I got home, fed up, pissed off with work. Come home, three half pints of um, my ginger and rhubarb wine. And then I drank a litre of uh, Fax Premium Lager. And then I did, yeah, that got me going. And then I did this fella, a review of this. And uh, I think that's all. I don't think I've drank hotels. And now I'm on the whiskey. Jobs are good, and and uh, you know sometimes to the world, the world that doesn't like you, you know, you've got to turn around and say, you know, balls. To the rest of the world that doesn't like you, say, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for being there. And uh, you know, tough as this year's been, I've learned valuable, valuable life lessons and uh, life lessons that will continue to be there for a long time and uh, I mean let's be fair over the last year I've worked incredibly bloody hard and yet to know not to my face to know um, little thanks for it even though the work's getting done to a fantastic level and little thanks and uh, you know You've got people working for you. Um, it is nice just to hear that. Thanks, you're doing some amazing work, you know. And uh, I get two customers that I do got their gardens at weekend, and uh, both of them thank me ever so much for the work I do. And I'm running out of time, so.
bloody hell that's got some balls to it. Oh, really catches your breath. Nice smooth whiskey. Blooming neck. So damn strong. And it says makes a smooth and mellow Irish whiskey flavouring. Oh shit, it's going to go out of charge. With overtones of caramel and vanilla. So what I can say is before it dies, beautiful whiskey. Um, don't really get the caramel and vanilla. Get the smoothness, lovely smoothness. Out of five, about 4.3 out of five. And I've got to say, lovely. And uh, thanks for watching this rather short review. Cheers and see you soon. Bye.